What's up everybody? I got my man Nathan Adcock in the house. We're on the Cape Fear River, starting here at Buckhorn Dam. And we're gonna be paddling, what is it, about what, slightly less than 10 miles maybe? Eight miles maybe? Today, eight, nine miles today. Miles. That's right, to uh, Raven Rock State Park, where we've got a primitive campsite reserved for tonight. And then tomorrow, let's see, our driver said, what, six miles, right, six. To, the, to the Outfitters. Cape Fear River Adventures in Lillington, North Carolina is where we parked our trucks and they shuttled us up here to Buckhorn Dam. And of course, that's where we'll finish tomorrow. So real nice guys, if you're in that area and interested in something like this, check them out. Yeah. We talked to the folks at the uh, Outfitter and he said there were two class two rapids and one class one on this uh, trip and he said both of the lines are to run them are on the right so we're gonna stay river right um, the water level is pretty low we'll have to see if these rapids he was talking about you know they might be too bony it might be too dry who knows we'll see if we can run them or if we got to line them or if we have to you know portage around or something like that so we'll figure it out Oh yeah. Oh. All right. Yes, sir. All good. We're close. We're close to being out of it. Yeah. Uh, still kind of rapid current, but we're through the thick of it. I I mean, I'm assuming that was the class two rapids. We've reached a little mile marker over here that says H1. And uh, there's a picnic area. So we're deciding we're gonna stop in, stretch our legs, probably go to the bathroom and maybe eat a little lunch. Coming up on 1230. And uh, we had a little lunch. Not much to report there. I had a little uh, spaghetti and meatball MRE. And uh, what'd you have, PB and J? PB and J. PB and J and some canned fish. Great pairing. Uh, so our plan now, we're back on the water. We've got one more set of like falls slash rapids to go through Lanier Falls. And I think just after that will be our campsite in Raven Rock. So we've decided that we're gonna try to kind of kick it into gear and move a little faster especially out here like we are now on the open water so that we're not out on the river too long it's over. so we can hear russian water down here and we think there might be a, a drop off like a little falls here we're not sure if we're actually at lanier falls or not but uh we're gonna get out on these rocks and check it out the canoes here. This is the path to the left. Yeah. I don't think I. <laughs> I don't think that would be fun. Yeah. 
I think that's the smart way. I agree. Okay. Nathan agrees. No big run today. Yeah. Woo. Yes, sir. We're at mile marker eight six. And our guide who dropped us off said it would be just after that. So we're looking here on the right. Little markings on the tree there. And there's a sign up there on kind of the top of the hill. It says uh, Canoe Camp. So it's just past the 8-6 mark. Time to get out of the boat and pitch camp. As you can see, we have a picnic table, all of our gear, a couple of little benches to sit. There's a fire pit. Uh, there's some of the wood we collected. And we may go get more, but that's a good kind of first haul. And uh, there's a nice big space right over here where we can uh, put up the tent. Yeah, coming up on 4.30, and uh, we've got some good food to cook up later. Little campfire action. Looking forward to it. Dinner's being served. Some steak and some uh, veggies. Walmart steak, filet, 13 bucks. Show them what you got. I got a bag of Mountain House Adventure Meals because <laughs> we are on an adventure and it's beef stroganoff with noodles. And uh, it was 10.99. Sounds amazing. At REI. Actually, no, this is a great outdoor provision because it was closer. I'm sharing with Nathan because, you know, Yeah, I, I chose to not bring steak, and Here, open, you could have been like, open your bag you could have been there. like, I decided, you know, I made my bed, sleep in it. You know, you could have totally been that. I would have been One respectful more. of that. One more. Oh. Right. Nice boy, Nathan. There we go. Hooked him up. some breakfast and uh, we've lounged around I think enough we're uh, starting to clean up now so cleaning some pots and dishes and soon we'll break camp here and uh, I don't know probably gonna take us what probably a good hour before we're even close to being out of here I would guess right yeah so the not fun part of packing up camp so we're gonna get everything put away and then we'll touch base with you guys when we're on the water It's a little windy but the sun is out so I think the rain is done I'm also I'd like to do a little fishing today I did bring a rod I want to say a special shout out to my father-in-law Bill for hooking me up um, long story but a little shorter yesterday my fishing rods and my tackle box were stolen well two days ago before this trip and uh, so I was in a pinch I knew I wanted a rod and my father-in-law, Bill, uh, said, I got one, you can use it. So he hooked me up, I got a good old Zebco here. Um, I went to Walmart and bought this little Shakespeare catch, uh, more fish, just, you know, like quick tackle box for pan fish. Um, I bought three rooster tail lures, cause you can't go wrong with that. And I've got one strapped on. And so uh, I wanna say thank you to Bill. Maybe I'll try to 
catch us something today and uh, and make us proud. So, but regardless of whether I catch fish or not, I want to thank Bill for that. There we go, that's for you, Bill. Thanks for letting me borrow your fishing rod. So we're approaching the takeout point. We have a railroad truss in front of us. And then just beyond that, an overpass. And our takeout point is just beyond the railroad truss. And our trucks are parked there on the right. Trip. Chase it down with a little pizza. Yeah, they should put pizzerias at the end of every paddling trail. 100% agree.